All right, ZBA members, I make a motion that the ZBA adopt the <clears throat> wording of the town administrator, Brian Domina, uh, in a March 9, 2021 email to me as amended by the town clerk, Lynn Sibley's additional language in um, a further email that same day, March 9, 2021, all related to um, our adoption of regulations on public hearing advertising costs. Thank you. Want to verbalize it? Bob did second. Bob second. Oh, okay, second. I didn't hear it. Okay. <laughs> Very good. All right, so we've done something. Do we need to vote? Yes, and on Zoom meetings, you have to um, vote by uh, roll call. Okay, so I vote in favor. I vote in favor. I vote in favor. I vote in favor. All right, it's unanimous. Excellent. It's anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to shut my door. <laughs> my dogs don't bark in the ZBA. <laughs> Roger, I, I have a question. Can, can you start a a meeting that hasn't been properly posted or do we simply have to postpone any discussion? <laughs> so, do you have um, town council's email in front of you? Because I don't have it exactly in front of me. I could get it. Oh, I, did, I, I, guess I can get it if... Yeah, I can share, anybody can, we can share it. I know Mary said, Mary said to open it and then immediately postpone it, but I'm not sure he used those words. I, I'm, I can read it. Yeah. Um, your email says, hello, town council got back to me and he does confirm that we must postpone. And then I can read the town council's email. Just getting to this now. I think the issue is the absence of posting of the meeting 48 hours in advance per the open meeting law and the 14 days per chapter 40A, section 11. If the posting does not meet those requirements, the board will not be able to proceed as scheduled. And that was underlined. Yeah, I underlined that just for our benefit. Okay. Not be able to proceed as scheduled so that doesn't 100% answer the question, Bob? Uh, no, it doesn't, doesn't seem to answer the question. Because um, I guess uh, it's my good fortune to follow you because you've got to do it first. Yeah. And then I get to do it at seven o'clock and copy whatever it is that you do. But I just wondered if we haven't properly posted because once we, well, no, beginning the meeting, we have what, 45 days to actually begin the meeting from the day an application was sent, correct? And then 90 days after we conclude the meeting. I just looked at that and I have it very handy. I've been... So that it says here. This is from section nine of the general laws, 48 section nine. Special permit granting authority shall hold a public hearing for which notice has been given per section 11 on any application for a special permit within 65 days from the date of filing um, and the decision shall be made within 90 days following the date of the public hearing. So it's 65, uh, 45. But the, the language there seems to indicate that proper posting was necessary. It does say per section 11. Hmm. Yeah. Now there are people waiting in the waiting room to come in. All right, well, we should, well, we should decide what we're doing. So, hi Fred, how you doing? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't see how we can't, at least open it 
to announce something about it because otherwise if we're not right even here to talk about it it's not open but we can't do anything um effective that that actually addresses it in any way other than say we can't address it and well here's another thing I, I, I also wonder Roger I don't I don't think we can do much more than say that because the, it, there's the possibility that people don't know that it's happening because of the lack of the posting right so other to just open it and right the so then presumably, once a proper posting occurs, people could check the website and see what the, see what the new date is, which relates to the, my next question. Should we just kick it out a month or should we try to do it on a shorter schedule? But we have to leave ourselves enough time to get the 14 days and get the newspaper. Does she have to publish again? Yeah, I guess she's gonna have to publish again. Yeah. That's 14 days from today is the 15th. I don't know. If we don't have to publish again in the newspaper, yeah, I think that's the benefit of opening it, then you've at least given a chance for anybody who saw the newspaper ad to be here. Um, So the question is whether it's a month or three weeks or two weeks would be kind of tight. So I think it's just three weeks or should we do it for three weeks or four weeks? Um, three weeks would be the 22nd of April, correct? If we were. Yeah. Yeah. That might make people feel a little bit better. Yeah. I mean, that that is. Because uh, the next one would be May 6th. So that's. That would be good, I think, if that's doable. So let's do it to the 22nd. Okay. It's the best we can do. Okay, do you want me to let these people in? Open up the floodgates. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. It's Todd Salura from Sovereign Builders. <laughs> Megan West. <laughs> Megan, we keep meeting on Zoom. I know, right? <laughs> so, so I was to say the way of 2020, but now it's the way of 2021 as well. Todd, are you going to have any representative here? It's Roger Lipton. How are you doing? You going to have any representative besides yourself? I don't, actually. And I was I was under the uh, impression that we needed to attend or someone needed to attend to uh, because it was going to be continued because it wasn't properly advertised or something. There was a mistake in the advertising. Yeah, so uh, I'll address that in a minute. We don't have our board secretary uh, online yet. I don't see Mary anywhere. No. Okay, because I tried to actually log in another way and it didn't work. So, I, so then I dialed in. So I, it's it's a little different than usual, but yeah, here I am. The phone is fine. The phone is fine. So let's okay, give yeah. our let's give our secretary a couple of minutes to um, join us, and then we'll we'll uh, proceed. Sure. Okay. Sounds good. I wonder, Kristen, can we enable transcription just in case she doesn't? I, I just got an email from her at 641. Oh, okay. That uh, is about the minutes. But, um, oh, yes. Yes. I wonder if she is not yeah, I we I think we all have that email. Um, I'm just looking on my phone. Um, I don't I don't see transcription on here, just video. 
Yeah, usually if we're recording, it should automatically generate at least, um, I think it should automatically generate a transcript, at least um, the way that my system allows it, but I don't know if it's the same kind of an account. Um, so we will have, well, we'll have a video transcription and we might have um, a written one. Well, does Mary indicate she's gonna join us or, or is it just, it's just an email about minutes? an email with the, with the minutes. Yeah, just the minutes. It doesn't sound like... Um... She certainly knows about tonight. She does. Yeah. Fred, did you sign the Hannum document? Yes, we did. Okay. The, um, I, left it, I left it with Lynn Sibley for you to sign. Yes, I did yesterday. Okay. yesterday but Perfect. Yeah. Okay, so Roger, that one's all complete. Oh, that's great, okay. Yeah, we'll talk about the Pekarsky one in a minute. All right, well, I don't wanna hold anybody up. Um, so Todd and I know each other in a number of different contexts going back a long time. You still there, Todd? I am, yes, okay. yes. Yeah. So uh, the, our board extends our apologies, uh, whether it's the pandemic or, or too much going on. In any event, the... Um, mm -hmm. The, the mistake that occurred was even though we did advertise properly in the recorder and we posted the agenda on time, um, Mary did not post the legal notice 14 days before the hearing, only two days before the hearing. Um, when I heard about it, I consulted with town council. Um, and Here's Mary. Here's Hello. Mary. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I am here now. Hi, Mary. Okay. So I just was telling the petitioner that um, I consulted with town council and he said that we cannot hold the public hearing if the um, town website did not have the legal notice posted 14 days before the hearing, which is a fact it did not. So our apologies. Um, I, I told the board though, and rather than make you wait a full month, we can meet again on April 22nd, if, if that's an available date for you. Oh, absolutely. And, and much appreciated that you're making that uh, exception. That's really very helpful. Okay, that's great. So then, um, Mary, from your perspective, um, is it true we don't have to publish in the newspaper again? With no, as long, as long as we've opened it now and there's been a, an agreement on a dead a certain date to continue it to. Okay. We don't need to publish anything anymore. Just an agenda for that meeting. All right. So you'll publish an agenda for that meeting, and that and the legal notice is already up. So that, those, yeah, so that been notice. posted. Yeah. So the so mailings that, to the abutters went out. That, okay. But that so that legal notice that's posted will be 14 days before April 22nd, obviously, because it's already posted. So then that's that takes care of that. So we we'll do it at 6:40. PM the same time that this one was supposed to start. And uh, okay. any questions? None for me. Okay, Mary, have we addressed everything that you can think of. Uh, Roger, if we officially open the meeting, do we have to read the legal notice? I was just reaching for that. <laughs> oh, she was just reaching for it. Why'd you read the legal notice then? Let's see. Okay, this appeared in the uh, Greenfield Recorder on March 18th and 25th, 5th, 6th. Um, legal notice, Zoning Board of Appeals, Town of Waitley. Notice is hereby given that the Zoning Board of Appeals of Waitley will hold a public hearing on Thursday, April 1st, 2021 at 6.40 p.m. The hearing will take place virtually via Zoom. The rules of decorum for a public hearing remain in effect and the chairperson will seek comments from the public when appropriate to do so. Todd Salora of Sovereign Buildings Incorporated has applied for two special permits. The first is to build a self-storage facility encompassing three buildings totaling 28,600 square feet 
on property owned by Sharon Holick and located in the commercial zone at State Road, map five, parcel 29. The second is to allow a sign not to exceed nine square feet in area or 10 feet in height to be located outside the property line and within the right of way. Application for the special permits is to be considered under the provisions of the Waitley Zoning Bylaws as provided by Massachusetts General Laws Chapter 40A. This notice is also published electronically on www.recorder.com slash public dash notices and www.masspublicnotices.org. Uh, and there follows the access information for the computer link and the uh, toll free telephone numbers for joining tonight's hearing. And it's signed Roger P. Lipton Chair, Zoning Board of Appeals, March 18th and 25th, 2021. Okay, very good. Todd, does that sound accurate to you? You know, the, so what, what I'm not, what is not accurate, I mean, the, the footprint is that, is that occupies that area, but the total square footage is larger than that. Ah, okay. And, and that actually was in, so in the submission, it, it clearly states different than that. And I, I, I have to pull it up, but um, in the full submission, there's a narrative that, that explains that the footprint is, is that, but that the center building is, and I, and I got to pull it up to read the, the language of it because it is accurate. Um, let me see. So Jessica Allen submitted this. So here we, no, that's not. I mean, I can email it to you. I, I would assume that you, you have it. I, I, I hope you do. I could share it. Is this the special permit from Jessica? It, yeah, the application, special permit application. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to share it with the group. Todd can't see it because he's not on the computer, but everybody else will be able to. And I've, I've found it in my record. So I'm, I'm looking at it on a computer, but not I'll shared share with, you with you all. But Sorry. So in the narrative, which is page nine, it's in the, in the fourth paragraph, the main building is a 62,400 square foot three-story building with each floor of 20,800 square feet. So there's two outbuildings that says that that includes 600 square foot for an office. The main building will comprise of various size climate controlled self-storage unit, self units, two single story Storage buildings are also proposed at 4,600 square feet and 5,400 square feet, respectively. These buildings will not be climate controlled and have gr ground floor access. So that's in the in the in the narrative. Yes, I see it. So, thanks for pointing that out to us, and we will consider all that when we reconvene and um okay unless there's any other than that yeah you know i don't that's the only thing that okay well good thanks for pointing that out so uh, as i said unless there's anything else we'll see you on april 22nd at 6 40. sounds great thank you all have a great night take care thank you bye-bye Okay, so while we have five minutes before seven o'clock on the um, Pekarski application, I did finish that this evening. So yes, before you move on real quick, so are we commenting on the that property with Todd today or are we waiting till the 22nd? You're waiting till the 22nd. Okay. okay. Um, is there any way we can get a copy of the permit? Because the information that we were sent was 28,000 square feet. So it seems like it's much, much larger. Yeah. On the website, right? Kristen, that wasn't that on the website? Uh, no, that was um, an, an email that Mary had sent uh, to me with all of the documents. 
Okay. But it's usually but on the website. It's Mary. Megan, it, on, the, on the website, there are drawings um, which give square footage on the waitley.org website under um, ZBA agenda for tonight. Um, there's uh, building elevations and floor plans and the special permit application package from, uh, it's a PDF, okay? I All think right. that I think that's what you want to look for the narrative in that. Okay, okay, great. We will do that and see you on the 22nd then. <laughs> what, what, I, what I took this from was the page of the actual two page paper application. And what it said there was they were applying for a special permit to build self-storage facility encompassing three buildings totaling 28,600 square feet. So that's what I used. That, that's the only description there, but the further description is, as you saw in the narrative, um, normally what's on the page that they submit is reliable. In this case, there's a discrepancy. Yeah, like I said, that's just not what we, we're expecting when we came showed up today. <laughs> so. right, well, I'm glad glad you know about it now. Now you yeah. have a chance. You have a chance to think about it. Great. Thank you. Okay. Good luck. In, on the 13th, Megan. <clears throat> what was that about the 13th? Megan is a library trustee. Oh. <laughs> We're both library trustees. Oh, oh, oh. We have a trustee meeting. Okay. I didn't have 13 written down anyway. No, 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 no. Sorry. <laughs> I was no, just I wondered about I that too, Mary. It. I wondered about that too. Yeah, I should have been doing it on a, as a sidebar. So April 22nd at 640, we'll open this again. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right, so what I want to say about the Pekarski decision, I wrote that- uh, Excuse me, but I, I just want to mention that right before I got on, I emailed partial minutes of last March's meeting just in case people wanted to look at them in their emails or something while we were talking. The Pekarski, I completed the whole minutes about that. Can I select, I started, but I jumped ahead to the parts involving the decision. I'll have to finish the rest of the, there was a lot of discussion. So well, that, that may be exactly what I need, the, the decision. That's why I did that. Yeah, good. And okay. uh, the other one, the Hanum, that's complete. Yeah, that's been filed with the town already. Okay. So we're good on that. So on Pekarski, I did complete the decision. I emailed it just at like 6.20. I don't expect anybody to have read it to, to Kristen and to Fred, who are the decision makers as I am on that one. Now, I'm a, proposing that you, Kristen, be the temporary clerk because the clerk has to sign so we didn't really make a designation. Um, is that okay with you? Sure. Okay. So then when you see it, um, obviously if something's wrong, let me know. But if it's all good, you would sign Kristen as clerk on page one and page, um, it's called page three, but it's really page four of the submission because the opening page doesn't have a number. And then at the top of that last page, you'll see below where I put my reasons, you put your reasons and you, now you need to get it over to Fred so that he can then sign it and get it over to, the, uh, to Lynn. Could I just uh, say that what they're doing now that town offices have limited opening is that you can bring the decision to town office and you can go to town office and sign it. Um, if you just talk to either Amy or um, the town clerk, um, which is what I did with, with Fred on the uh, Hannum decision. And that's how I guess the planning board is doing theirs. Um, and other committees in town are bringing mm -hmm. whatever has to be signed to a central location and then signing. But if it works for well, that's However, what we're we're doing. Are you still there, Fred? Yes. Yeah, we're doing that with select board, and and I guess you don't have to. You can go anytime. Anytime somebody is is in a building, even if the doors are locked, uh, 
I guess knock on the doors or the window and, or even call if you're there and nobody and they'll let you in. So you're not limited to the three three mornings that were open. Okay, so Kristen, if, if sounds like probably easy, easiest if you could just do your piece of it and get it over to the town hall and then, I mean, I, the I, town, town offices and then Fred will catch up with it. Yep, yes. I just signed it and printed it. So I will bring it over there um, hopefully tomorrow. Good, okay, great. And it'll be available. There's, okay. So there's nobody Mary, there tom oh. tomorrow, but well, Friday's only till noontime. Kristen, so I'm sorry. I think it, there's on Fridays the office nobody is there and only until or people are there only until noon time on Friday. Is it just you that needs to sign it, Fred? Well, I can bring it to you tomorrow Friday. Sure, if you want. Why don't I just bring it to you if you're the only one, and then and then we'll uh, mail it to Roger or. Well, so here's the thing, that page um, that I normally sign as I was reading it is a page where there's been an approval. But again, as I read it, if there's been a, been a denial, I don't need to sign that page because it's not going to the registry of deeds. Denials don't go to the registry of deeds. So that makes it easier. I don't actually have to sign it, Kristen. I just. I hand wrote in my reasoning on the last page. Right. It's not really a signature. So I think I'm out of the loop as far as putting it on paper. No, I guess bring, bring it to the town offices, Kristen, because okay. I may now, who, be in and out. I can't say I'm going to wait here all day for you to bring it. So at least I'll bring I, it to the town offices and just leave it there for you, Fred. Bring it there, right. Uh, Roger, who else needs to sign this? You're the one. I, you want me to sign it as the clerk, though? Yes. And so, so doesn't well, it need three members or just two? Well, three members vote. So that last page right. has the indication of each of our votes at the top. And I already put that in. But that's not a signature. It's just an, we've always done it as just. All right. So, uh, so I'm going to vote as a member also. You're voting as a member and you sign it twice. As a and then Fred, that's the three. Yeah. Okay, right. we'll do that. I'll, I'll leave it at the town offices. Okay. Right. Okay. Cool. And then Mary, while you were um, still waiting to join us or not join us, we were very efficient. We voted to adopt the um, publication um, portion of the agenda that you had put on. To a the, the, the applicants pay for the public hearing advertising. Oh, 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 the, the uh, yeah, the advertising charges for legal notices. Okay, okay, um, let me just <laughs> turn a page here. What exactly did you vote for language? Is that, yep. We have yep. to update the forms. So I, if I'm doing it, I need to know exactly what to put on it. So the easiest thing for me to do is I will. Oh, well, actually, you were on that email. If you go back to your November, excuse me, November, March 9th email between myself, Lynn, and Brian. I'm just trying to. Uh, when I when I have Zoom up, I have trouble looking at other things. Oh, I don't even try to do it. Yeah, I just stay on the Zoom. I'm afraid I'm going to. Yeah, work. well, OK, maybe I think I'm doing it here. Now, what was it? March what date? March 9th. March 9th. It'll take a bit here to get back to the right page. March 9th, okay, here's some March 9th. Okay, is this the one that starts, I agree with Lynn's? Yes. Uh, okay, let me open that with Lynn's suggestion. And Let 
Well, actually, Brian says, perfect, let's do both. Okay, that. yes, and then that was to the suggestion of, uh, I agree that the application and the zoning, the ZBA regs should be updated to reflect this change. Yeah. Cost will vary by application, but we could state something like the advertising cost will vary by application and will be provided to the applicant once the legal ad is submitted to the newspaper and the newspaper provides the quote. The applicant will be informed of that cost and the payment can be made payable to the town of Waitley. Yeah, so we adopted that. So that will go in and I also, I don't think our application has a requirement that for an email for the applicant and it would be much better to notify them about this by email yeah. rather than phony. <laughs> I would say put that in there if you can get an app. Uh, an yes, I, I, well, our this is probably a bit much to work in without going on to another piece of paper, but I could always shorten the list of the above well, to maybe put it. <laughs> that's only part of it because the main thing we adopted was Brian's opening salvo, if you will, in the email, which is at the very bottom. We've got the bulk mm -hmm. cost of advertising public hearings. So that's about seven or eight lines right there. Wait a minute. I can gotta get this is Way down the bottom. Yeah. yeah. The please consider this a formal request. Yes. So that we board to... take steps. So you want to put in start. You want me to put on the. You want me to put an explanation for why we're doing this. No. Uh, no. Well, what you said it's. How would these bold print? as a heading, cost of advertising public hearings. Oh, oh, I see that, sorry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I would put that, and then I below that, I would put as a separate paragraph, Lynn's two sentences, sentences that she added on. And that's what I was just reading? Those, yeah. those right. were Lynn's, okay. Right. First, first, Ryan's. One, Ryan's. Two lens, and also put a spot in for applicant email. Yeah. Okay. I'm not. I don't even think I have something that I can work on. You know, an, an electronic form that I can alter, but I'll I'll do whatever. You know, maybe Lynn. Where did go? Don Sluter had one. Mm -hmm. um, it almost seemed, I don't know if you guys remember, we almost went electronic, but then we did. We, we never did. quite fully crossed the threshold and then we fell back, well, fell back to paper. <laughs> we need to, we need to re, re, redo that. <laughs> uh, well, maybe I can check with Lynn and see if she know, has anything yeah. about it because she, normally you would have to send it to her to get her to. Yeah. To, to okay it and put it on the on the on the town website. I'll I'll check the town website. I, I don't know. I'll I'll find out what I can do about that. But we've got three things: then Brian's statement, Lynn's additional statement, and applicant email. Yeah. However, it best fits. Okay. Cool. Okay. Now we we have had someone has filed an application for next month. <laughs> So it seems like we're we're going to be going back to I don't know three <laughs> three hearings in one night. Well, um, maybe yes, maybe no. So let me just be asking on that. I'm just looking for this. It's somebody else who wants a variance to do something that involves setbacks from yards <laughs> but his thing sounds like something i've heard you grant before oh wait a minute is that the the weber road thing i think i sent that to you robin around yeah okay 38 weber road a screen porch on the south side of the house but the front setback is oh no but i sent i sent him over to the building inspector oh okay because he may very well get the building inspector to agree he had a good analysis but 
in which case we don't have to do anything. So, okay, well, we'll forget about that for now. Forget about that. Yeah. Yeah. So, is anybody waiting, Kristen? Uh, nobody else Dr. is in the waiting room. Everybody's in the meeting. Dr. Herbert's here to begin the second. Okay. Hearing of the night. So we really don't have anything else on the agenda at this point, except for Dr. Herbert, right? You've mm -hmm. covered the other things. Okay. Right. Then, yeah. All right. So I'm going to stay on board just to listen. I'm not going to participate. And um, I'll let you guys take it, up, take it from there. Okay. Good evening, Dr. Herbert. How are you tonight? Well, yes, I'm good. Well, um, I'm afraid that we have bad news, which you already have been uh, alerted to, and that is that we failed to uh, properly um, post the meeting uh, in all of the places that needed to be um, posted. And according to law, we needed to do it 14 days before the meeting, and that did not occur which means that we cannot proceed with your hearing tonight. But what we, would, what we intend to do is um, invite you to a meeting on April 22nd. Uh, rather than wait till May 6th, we'll move it till uh, April 22nd. Uh, and we'll look for, well, we'll say 7 p.m. But <laughs> I don't know if that's, uh, I just don't wanna say 7.30 and then have to wait for, 20 minutes, if that's okay with you. Um, we need to read the legal notice tonight and then we're gonna immediately um, postpone until the 22nd if that, um, if that date works for you. Uh, what day of the week is that? It's a Thursday also. Okay. Okay, so Mary, could you read the legal notice for um, the urban grown? Yes. <laughs> Uh, this ran in the Greenfield Recorder on March 18th and 25th. Legal Notice, Zoning Board of Appeals, Town of Waitley. Notice is hereby given that the Zoning Board of Appeals of Waitley will hold a public hearing on Thursday, April 1st, 2021 at 7 p.m. The hearing will take place virtually via Zoom. The rules of decorum for a public hearing remain in effect and the chairperson will seek comments from the public when appropriate to do so. Stephen Herbert of Urban Grown Inc. has applied for a special permit to cultivate marijuana on premises zoned commercial owned by uh, Rizard Brinda, Christine Jordan, and uh, We Should yep. I of Deerfield and located at State Road, Map 32, Lot 6. Also requested is a waiver as described in Whateley Bylaws Section 171-28.6 uh, C5 to allow reduction of the required 500 foot setback from a recreation area, Tritown Beach, to 300 feet. Application of the special permit is to be considered under the provisions of the Whateley Zoning Bylaws as provided by Massachusetts General Laws Chapter 40A. This notice is also published electronically on www.recorder.com slash public dash notices and www.masspublicnotices.org. And then there follows the access information for joining this meeting by computer or toll-free telephone. And it's signed Roger P. Lipton Chair, Zoning Board of Appeals, March 18th and 25th, 2021 as the advertising dates. Mr. Herbert, was that uh, accurately written and read? Yes, that's accurate to what we want. Um, and so there is absolutely no discussion of anything tonight? Correct, we, we can't legally do that. We have to wait until April 22nd when all of the publications have occurred properly. Yeah. Okay, so okay. As, as acting chair, I it would invite you back on uh, it, on uh, April 22nd at 7 p.m. Yep, uh, we'll, we'll be here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you for your understanding. Yeah. yeah, we're a little disappointed, but that's okay. Okay. Very good. Do we have anything else, Roger? 
I think we covered a lot in a short period of time. So no, nothing else. Well, good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. See you on the 27th. Good night. Thanks yeah. a lot.